Welcome back. We're here with the lovely and talented Conan O'Brien. You have gone to seven countries in the last two years. Mm -hmm. uh, you uh, went to Cuba. Yep. Ar Armenia, mm -hmm. Qatar, South Korea, Germany, Mexico, and most recently you went to Israel. Yeah. An yeah. incredible trip. Yeah. I love following it on all the things you posted on Twitter, too. I love, like, sort of the, the posting yeah. of the place you went. What, do you, what did you love most about going to Israel? Because I think this is a fantastic idea. You go to be a common fool, you know, for, for <laughs> two peoples who don't talk to each other, like the Palestinians and Israelis. You're there, and you're the common element between the two. They both think that you're ridiculous, I imagine. <laughs> It's not the way I would have put it, but yes. I mean, that's a compliment. I know. Compliment. I, <laughs> I, uh, I love, my, my greatest joy is trying to make people laugh that don't even speak English, don't know who I am. I love that. I love going to these uh, other countries. And I had, this idea started very naturally when we went to Cuba, and then it just sort of took off from there. But it's a little bit of sort of quasi-diplomacy through comedy. Just, I like to show that Americans are curious, we're humble. We, we're, we're, we're okay to look ridiculous. Mm -hmm. It's okay if you laugh at us. Um, I Every think... time I see you doing one of these, I think, oh, damn it, that was such a great idea. You know, I feel like you've stolen something great from the rest of us. Uh, <laughs> yes, and more yeah. or less. Uh, no, really, honestly. Yeah, uh, no, you know, what's nice is that uh, it's, it's something that has energized me the last couple of years. It's given me, uh, well, since we started doing it, I love it so much. Uh, that it gives me, you know, someone who gets to my point with one of these shows might think, well, it's time to go join the horse at the equine massage school. Uh, Sounds good. But it is, uh, it, I have all of this energy now because I absolutely love doing it, and they let us go everywhere. When I show up with a camera crew, they let us into places that normally they wouldn't let other well, people... You were in the Holy Land. They, we went to the Holy Land. We're Roman in the... Catholic. Roman yes, Catholic, Roman Irish Catholic. Catholic. Yeah. You, what was it like? Did you go to, like, the... The Via De La Rosa or, or We went the... to a bunch of the sites. We saw them quickly, but we wanted to... We asked, is it okay if we see the Church of the Nativity? And they said yes. Now, the Church of the Nativity, uh, this is where they, they say that uh, Christ was born on this spot. The manger? In the manger. They say the manger's down there, and you go down, and they said, come on in. It's, you can come in, and you can come down with your camera crew and with your sound operator, you can come down and you can shoot this for your show because this is very important. We know who you are. We know you've come to Israel on this mission of peace. Come on down. So we start going down this long winding steps that take you, I mean, beautiful, amazing church, but then it gets very claustrophobic. You're going down a long hill, I mean, a, you know, into the ground, spiraling. I've got a cameraman with a big camera. I've got a sound guy uh, who uh, has got a giant machine strapped to his chest with sound dials, and he's got a long boom microphone. Boom microphone, I don't know if you guys have one, but it's like six feet long. I'll buy you one. And uh, yeah. it's, got a, it's got like a big fluffy mic at the end, and he, that's how he gets the sound. And we're going down the steps, and I'm noticing the thing swinging around kind of wildly, and we get down to the bottom, and they say this. This is the site where Christ was born, and it's very powerful. They're showing you this is where Christ was born, and my sound guy is struggling with his big, long stick, and I don't want to sell him out and give his name or anything, but it's Jason Munoz, and uh, <laughs> his guild number is 44245. <laughs> but he's trying, doing the best he can. He said, this is where Christ was born, and then they have another star that's about five feet away, and they say, and this is where he was laid in the manger. And I see this, so they say that, they go, this is where Christ was born, and this, and I see Jason swing around with the boom, hit an 800-year-old lamp that's hanging from the ceiling, katang, hot oil, blah, off the candles, down onto Jason, some got on the priest, he was fine, but the, and there's, and, and then the thing's going, ee, ah, ee, ah, ee. and then the guy is saying, and over here is where Three Stooges sketch, thing comes around, bang! Wang, wang, fire to the nativity. It was, I mean, I'm sure, you know, somewhere Christ is like, get him out of there! <laughs> get him out! Somewhere. somewhere. Get him! Somewhere? Christ is somewhere saying that? Sometimes. He's everywhere saying that. He's someplace specific in my mind. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. We all okay. have different theories yeah, about yeah. where Christ may be exactly. Yeah. Stephen. Yeah. Well, uh, well, I'm glad you didn't destroy the Church of the Nativity. I didn't mean there. to do that. No, I'm nobody telling, means to. I am telling... <laughs> I'm telling you 
that uh, I'm telling all countries that might see this, don't let, let us in, let me in, don't let the sound guy in. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> we gotta take another break. I'm sorry, but we do. We'll be right back with more Conan O'Brien. Don't go anywhere.